Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to purchase the only one token using MetaMask and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB on Binance, transfer that over to your MetaMask wallet on MetaMask, and then going ahead and purchasing the only one token. I'd just like to let you guys know as well as that I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on this channel. So if you guys are interested in cryptocurrencies, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of content coming out into the future. Anyhow, I'm going to show you guys how to start by creating your MetaMask wallet, and that's pretty easy to do. You just go ahead over to your app store and download the MetaMask application. Pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to show you guys that. But all you guys want to do is go ahead and open up your MetaMask once it's downloaded. And then you'll be greeted with this page right here telling you that you have to set up your wallet. Now you have three options here at the bottom. It says import using security recovery phrase, sync with MetaMask extension or create a new wallet. So if this is your first time using MetaMask, you're gonna to have to go ahead and create a new wallet or you can go ahead and import one from your computer or a Mac or something like that. Anyhow, you just wanna click on create a new wallet and then here it's gonna tell you to create a password. So you can just go ahead and create a password for your wallet. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Once you're done typing in your wallet here, you just have to go ahead and click on I understand and then you can go ahead and click on create password. Now it's gonna tell you that you have to secure your wallet. So we can just skip this by clicking on start here. So you just wanna click on view here. And then these will be the words that I'm gonna to have to use for my recovery phrase. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be using this wallet or else I will not be showing these words to you guys. Uh, but all you guys have to do is write down these words on a piece of paper and put them in a safe place. Uh, but then on the next step of this, we're gonna to have to put all these words in order to confirm it. Uh, so you just wanna click on continue once you have this written down safely. And then here, we're gonna have to go and put in all the words in the correct order. Uh, once you guys do that, you can just click on complete backup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys what to do next. So once you guys have all these words in here, it'll just tell you that it's success. You can just click on complete backup and then it'll tell you congratulations, you have protected your wallet. So you just click on done here. And once we're in our MetaMask wallet for the first time, we're first gonna have to add the Binance Smart Chain Network or the Binance Network to our MetaMask. And to do that, we're gonna go to the top left corner of our screen and click on the three lines. Then we're gonna go over to settings. Once we're in settings here, we wanna head over to the networks option and then just click on add network at the bottom of the MetaMask wallet. Once we're in here, we can go over to the first link I have in the description. It'll bring you guys over to the Binance Academy website where we're gonna get all the information to put in here. So if you guys just go ahead to that first link, it'll bring you over to this website right here, which is the academybinance.com website. And we're just gonna get all this information right from here to go ahead and paste into our MetaMask. So I'll start off by copying this portion right here, the new RPC URL. So we're just gonna copy that and then go ahead and paste into our MetaMask. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in here. And then for network name, we're gonna put smart chain, just like this. Chain ID is 56, symbol is BNB. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy the block explorer URL as well from the same link that I have in the description in the comment section. So I'm gonna go back over here and then paste this in here as well. Once we have all this information in here, we can just go down to the bottom here and just click on add. Once we do that, you will notice at the top of our page there, right under wallet, it now says smart chain. That's exactly what we wanna see. Now what we have to do is we have to add the only one token to this smart chain wallet. And to do that, we're gonna click on add tokens. And then it's gonna ask us for the token address, the symbol and the token of precision. So we're gonna go over to the only one token website, which I will have linked in the description is in the comment section as well. So once we're on the only one token website here, we wanna get the contract address and we're gonna find this right at the bottom here where it says go to pancake swap. So you guys can just scroll all the way down once you're on the only one token website and you'll see the contract address right here. Make sure you guys get your contract address directly from here as other contract address could be fake or it could be an old or wrong address. So you wanna make sure that you guys get the exact address from the only one token website. Anyhow, we're just gonna copy this address from here and we're gonna go over to MetaMask and we're gonna paste this token address in the top. And then we're gonna put the only one token right here and then leave the token of precision on 18 and go ahead and click on add token. Once you guys do that, you will then have the spot for the only one token as well as BNB. Now we have to add BNB into our MetaMask wallet in order to go ahead and swap it on PancakeSwap. And to do that, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to purchase BNB on Binance. If you guys already know how to purchase BNB, you can go ahead and send some into your MetaMask wallet or just skip ahead in the video where I'll show you guys exactly how to send the tokens into MetaMask if you guys need to. Uh, anyhow, all you guys have to do is head over to your Binance application and open that up. So let's go ahead and open up my Binance application here. 
And then on Binance, you're going to go ahead and purchase some BNB. So we're just going to go over to where it says credit and debit card. Click on that. And then go ahead and choose a crypto. So I'm going to choose BNB. And then it's going to ask how much of my native currency I want to transfer into BNB. So that's totally up to you guys. I'll just show $100 as an example. Go ahead and click on continue. And it's going to ask you for a payment method. So you can go ahead and choose your payment method and then go ahead and click on confirm at the bottom. And then it will then put your BNB into your Binance wallet. So once you guys have that done, we can go over to our Binance wallet. And then we're going to go over to search and just look for our BNB. Once we locate our BNB, we can click on BNB one more time. So you just want to go ahead and click on withdraw. And then it'll bring us to this page right here where we can go ahead and paste our address from MetaMask into the address portion and then select our network and the amount of BNB we want to send. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our MetaMask and go ahead and open it up. And we're going to look for our wallet address. So if we just start on this main page here, we're going to go to our BNB section, click receive, and then copy this address that we got here. Once you guys have that done, we can go back into our Binance and you're going to paste that address up in this top section right here. Once you guys have it pasted up in the top section, you just want to make sure you're on the BEP20 Binance Smart Chain Network. Once you make sure you're on that network, you can go ahead and type in the amount of BNB that you want to send over to your MetaMask. And just say, for example, I wanted to do 0.25 BNB. I can go ahead and type that in. It will then show me my transaction fees and how much BNB I will receive in my MetaMask wallet. Now, if you guys are okay with what you see here, you can click on withdraw. And it should only take about five minutes for your BNB to show up in your MetaMask. Once you guys have that done, you can go over to your MetaMask and then you can locate where your BNB is. Once you see your BNB balance in your MetaMask wallet right here, we can go ahead over to PancakeSwap and then go ahead to purchase the only one token. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the next link I have in the description. It'll be over to PancakeSwap.Finance. It's going to be to the direct exchange where we're going to transfer our BNB into the only one token. So you guys just go ahead over to the PancakeSwap link I have in the description and in the comment section. And I'll show you guys exactly what to do next. So uh, we're going to head over to PancakeSwap. And once we're on PancakeSwap here, uh, we're just going to go over to the top left corner where you see the three lines. Click on that. And then you want to click on Exchange. Once you're on the exchange here, you want to click on connect in the top right corner. And then you want to click on wallet connect. Once you guys click on wallet connect, it's going to connect to your MetaMask wallet and you'll see your wallet address up in the top right corner. And then you will then see your balance of BNB in the balance section right here. Now, I currently don't have any BNB in my MetaMask, but once you guys have received your BNB from Binance in your MetaMask wallet, you will see your balance right here. Now we have to click on select a currency. We're going to have to paste that address that we got from the only one token website. If you guys don't have that address anymore copied and pasted, you guys can just go back over to the only one token website and then scroll down to where it says pancake swap again, copy the address, and then head back over to our pancake swap exchange. Once we're back in pancake swap, we can go ahead and click on paste for the address here. It's then going to show us the only one token. So we can just click on import, I understand, and then import. Now all we have to do is decide how much BNB that we want to transfer into the only one token. So let's just say, for example, I want to do my 0.25 that I had. Well, then show me how much only one token I'll get in exchange for my BNB. All you guys have to do now is click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. If you have the balance of BNB that you're using, you, they will then let you put through the transaction. Uh, once you go to the next page, it will show you a more broken down version of your transaction, showing you how much only one token you're getting in exchange. If you're okay with what you see there, you can go ahead and click on confirm swap. Once you guys click on confirm swap, it will then set, tell you that the transaction was successful. And then you can head back over to your MetaMask and your only one tokens will arrive in your MetaMask usually within two minutes. Now, let's let, let you guys know as well. So if you guys have any issues with the transaction, you could try changing the slippage tolerance inside of PancakeSwap as well. And to change your slippage tolerance, you just want to go to the three lines right beside Exchange. Click on that. And then the transaction settings that I would recommend using in terms of slippage tolerance for this coin is 8%. So to change your slippage tolerance here, you just want to put it to 8%. And then you can exit out of here and then try putting the transaction through again. Now, slippage tolerance, it does work sometimes with a little bit lower, but they do recommend using 8% on their website. Uh, anyways, uh, once you guys have done that and everything is successful, like I said, your coins will arrive in your MetaMask wallet, usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to purchase the only one token using MetaMask and PancakeSwap. This video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.